Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson here, catfishedge.com. And uh, I want to talk a little bit today about a cool little deal that I found about a year ago. And uh, this is a uh, called a sonar sock. Uh, there's a company out of Fort Worth, Texas that makes these. You can follow the link down below this video or at the end of the video over to the Catfish Edge website. I'll give you all the information on this if you're interested. But this is called a sonar sock, um, right, made right here by a, a little small company in Fort Worth, Texas. And um, I found this about a year ago. Like I said, I've been looking for something like this for the longest time, and it just didn't exist. And I thought about even trying to make one myself, and my sewing skills would certainly not be adequate. So. I kept hunting, kept hunting, and I finally found this. Now, the problem that a lot of anglers have, um, you know, you take the sonar unit off your boat, uh, you're fishing a tournament, leaving your boat sitting outside all, uh, overnight, uh, you know, traveling, whatever else, you run one of these expensive sonar units like this, and you know, you worry about getting stolen, leaving it out on your boat there. And the sonar units come with a little cheap, plastic or rubber cover that goes over the front of them. They don't stay on very well. Usually if you leave them on there when you're trailering, they'll fly off, stick them on there, throw them in your back seat or whatever, and they'll come off and the screen rubs up against stuff. I've had several units over the years that have had the screens all scratched up because the cover fell off of them and the back seat of the, uh, the truck or sitting in the floorboard, something like that. And what this thing is, it's a neoprene cover, like a uh, scuba diving wetsuit, and it's custom fit for each sonar model. The sonar unit just uh, slides down in here. It's got a couple of Velcro straps that secure the unit down inside, and then this big piece here just goes over, velcros down, and secures your sonar unit just like that. It's got neoprene all the way around it. The front is padded real well here, and also has a piece of plexiglass down inside here. You have something that impacts the screen. It's not gonna break it. That plexiglass is gonna protect it. It's got a nice little carrying handle on here, so it's nice and easy to carry and keep up with you know, moving in and out of the house, hotel room if you're fishing a tournament, whatever the case may be. So you not only get a way to carry it real easily, but you get some protection to keep from tearing it up, scratching it up, real easy to get in and out of there. And, uh, you know, this has just been a, a great little tool uh, for me, worth its weight in gold for protecting the sonar unit. And uh, certainly makes me feel a lot more comfortable than, uh, you know, just trying to tuck that thing up around my arm and walking around with it, worrying about dropping it and tearing it up. So again, that's a sonar sock. Um, something, you know, like I said, definitely if you're running a big sonar unit like this, taking it in and out of the boat all the time, something you should check out. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Like this video, it gets other people watching, helps spread the word, and lets us know that you like what we're doing here at Catfish Edge. If you like this information about sonar, fish finders for catfish, different products, and how to use it, make sure you click the link at the end of this video for more sonar videos, check those out. Hit those thumbs up button on those, leave some comments. Let us know how we're doing and let us know what kind of information you're looking for about sonar fish finders, products related to them, or just fishing for catfish in general. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.